another video basically the plan for the next week is to spend some time here with my family enjoy the fall here in connecticut and then i have a long week in new york i don't know what is going on in new york next week but there are literally two events every day next week in new york i feel like i'm entering my era again after spending enough time not living in new york where i'm starting to kind of love it again and i feel like i'm just enjoying the best parts of new york and appreciating New York for its beauty because there are so many amazing things about New York. So I'm really looking forward to having a week in New York that's very busy and work oriented and there are just so many brands and events that I'm just so excited to go and work with and be a part of and meet people and all the things. So although I know I'm going to be super tired, I'm really looking forward to it. So with all that being said, this vlog is going to be a lot of different things. A little bit of home, a little bit of here, and then a little bit of New York. And then the next week is busy, but I'm really hoping that I can just be at home and unpack. Even this room, you guys can see that it's not unpacked yet. I think I'm gonna finally finish organizing. But before I get into this week's vlog, I wanted to thank the sponsor of this week's video. If you guys haven't noticed, I do not do many sponsors on my YouTube channel. I really like keeping this almost like a relationship between me and you guys. And there are so many ways that I make money through social media obviously my instagram is probably the place no it's definitely the place that i'm doing the most paid partnerships and then i have my companies but as a creator i feel like it's important to have a space that just is about creating for the concept of creating and connecting and creating videos that i love and that are authentic and that is my YouTube channel. But one partner that I really actually wanted to and sought out this brand to partner with on my YouTube was Wella. Wella Professionals is a hair care brand. It's a hair color brand. Everyone watching this has probably heard of Wella. I am just such a true, through and through Wella fan. I use Wella color on my hair. I use all Wella products. Whether or not I was partnering with them, I would be using Wella products. And I have used Wella products for so long. And when I saw them come out with this ultimate repair, my friend Bridget, another influencer, you guys definitely know her, Acquired Style, I saw her using these and raving about them, not only doing a paid partnership with them, but she also just like continued to talk about these products. And I was so interested in them, I started using them and I started loving them, and now I'm working with them, so it's just really amazing. I feel very fortunate that I'm in a position where I can work with brands and promote brands that I really, really believe in and love. This bottle is almost empty. I have gone through so many bottles of the Ultimate Repair line by Wella. It's the shampoo I use, it's the hair mask I use, and it's the prep products that I use. If you guys have been following me for a while, you'll probably know that I've had a pretty dramatic hair transformation. I had incredibly damaged bleached hair, and I'm just on a journey of sort of embracing a more natural look, and honestly, the darker I've gone and the closer I've gone back to my natural color, the more confident I've become. And in turn with that, my hair really feels like hair and I can finally style it the way that I want. I can finally wear less extensions. I mean, I used to have a full head of bleach blonde extensions. Now this is the real length of my real hair. I have a few extensions just while the rest of my hair length grows out, but this is a lot of my natural hair, which I could not say before you guys will definitely see me in the rest of this video be using these products every single time i get my hair styled next week these will be being used i do not put heat on my hair i do not even brush my hair after the shower without applying my wella repair products i don't want to go on and on because i feel like i could and i feel like i should honestly make a whole video about my hair health journey um you know the color that i use these are all things that i would love to talk more about because they're amazing and I just know how my hair being healthy has affected my confidence and I want that for all of you guys. Before I move on to the rest of this video, something personal that I wanna talk about, about the Wella Repair, that maybe some of you guys know, but just a reminder. So sometimes when we have damage, whether it's from bleach, whether it's from anything that can damage the hair, we're constantly heat styling it to make it look presentable. For example, I had a lot of shorter, 
pieces throughout my hair while I was growing the bleach damage out. And the only way that I grew my hair out while still heat styling it was protecting it and nourishing it. Even if you stop using bleach and take or attempt to take better care of your hair, if you're not protecting your hair from heat styling, it could be as damaging as you bleaching it, which is something I learned. So I kind of stopped bleaching my hair, but I feel like it was still being damaged because I wasn't protecting my hair. So that's where the Wella Repair came into place. So yeah, thank you to Wella for sponsoring this video and for just being a part of my hair health journey and my everyday routine. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this vlog and it's gonna be a busy week. We're gonna head to my parents now. It's about 40 minutes away from my house, so we're gonna head there, spend the day with the family. There are a few things that I wanna do in Guilford. So I have some packing to do and um, I've still just been organizing this house. I still feel like I'm moving in, so yeah. yeah we're gonna head there now and see my whole family have some donuts from this really really good donut shop come here cookie this coffee shop is called coffee and donuts oh i think it's in westport yeah it's in westport i don't live in westport but i feel like i go to westport like every day um they have a really cute little town center and really good food it is literally the most gorgeous day new england in these months is just perfect. The air is sort of cool, the leaves are changing, especially the early months of fall, it's just so pleasant to be outside. Okay, so I got a chai latte, but with pumpkin cold foam. I feel like they were questioning my decision. They were. <sighs> really wanted pumpkin, but I also really wanted chai. Okay, <laughs> that's really, really good. Okay, we just got back from running some errands. I'm gonna do a big haul for you guys when I get home later of um, the antique shop that I went to. The stuff was insane. We're gonna start making dinner now. I'm just making an appetizer. I'm making some bruschetta and then we're gonna have pizza and lamb. The trick to making bruschetta is making sure you dry out the tomatoes and I put a little bit of salt and sugar if they're not sweet enough and I just let them sit got this fresh bread from the farm, so I'm gonna cut this up and assemble these. I think I'm gonna toast them up a little bit. Okay, I just toasted up some garlic that I'm gonna use to put on the bread once these are toasted, but I'm just gonna use this garlic olive oil to lightly drizzle over this bread before I put it in the oven. I'm just gonna crush this garlic that I kind of toasted up in olive oil for a while on slow into a sort of paste. And then I'm gonna put this down on the bread before I put the tomato on top. Dad. I'm gonna do a little unboxing from the I'm trying to think of what this type of store is called it's a curated antique store I guess with home goods and a lot of antique stuff a lot of imported goods just the best the best kind of store also it's owned by the most lovely 
young woman. So happy I can support her business. Just got these because I didn't have any. Next, I got this really pretty big canning jar that I'm just gonna use as a decoration by the fire. I will show you guys. It says vintage German canning jar. Really cool. Next, I'm probably most excited about these. I got a whole set. I think there's four. They're these gorgeous ceramic plates with the matching bowl. It's like a soup set. Let's see what it says on it. Vintage cup and saucer set. So it's this really pretty bowl. I make a lot of soup in this house, so I'll definitely be using these a lot. I'm really excited about them. Next, I got these brass salt and pepper grinders. They're really, really cool and special and have these beautiful floral, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it has this beautiful floral, almost like stamps on it. I just think these are really pretty. Um, I think these are imported from Europe. I'm obsessed with them. Next, I got this really pretty bottle of olive oil that I'm gonna keep out on the counter, probably next to the salt and pepper grinders. Then I got these just plain candles that I'm gonna burn. So this one's probably gonna be shorter, but I'm gonna put these on my coffee table um, right over there by the fireplace. And then next I got these vintage cutting boards. I have a few of these already, but I'm actually missing three of them since my move. So I wanted to get three more to sort of replace the ones that I can't find, but they're all different um, big vintage cutting boards. I love using these to serve food on. I love using them for wine and cheese. I cook with them. I also use them as decoration. I'll show you guys right now. I think that using cutting boards kind of as an accent on your backsplash just makes your kitchen feel very homey and cute. Like for example, if you feel like your kitchen's a little bit more modern or if you live in an apartment, adding vintage cutting boards and just like wood in general, I feel like really warms up a space. So these are gonna live here. I'm honestly gonna get probably an even bigger one to go behind it, but I just think these always look so good in homes. I have this other really big one that I don't think is gonna fit, but this is one of my favorites. Okay, I added the bigger one and I actually think it looks really nice. I might take one off, but I love it. Maybe I'll add this one to this side. Looks so good. Okay, here is the living room that's off the kitchen. I still don't have that much furniture in my house. Like this rug came, a few things are showing up. It's all showing up slowly. So no like huge updates, but here's the new vintage glass. I really like the way it looks. I'm thinking of getting some sort of like olive tree for this corner. Not really sure, it feels sort of empty in this corner. It's like I need something. Let me know if you guys have any thoughts. I don't think I've showed you guys much of this room because it's really not done. These are chairs from my old house that I'm gonna get rid of. I just don't know which ones I'm gonna get yet. Anyways, there's a lot going on in this room. Like this, for example, is um, gonna be a desk chair for my assistant once her desk shows up but I'm just obsessed with the paneling in this room. This light was from the previous owner and it's really, really beautiful. I love it. And then I have this over here and there's a nook right here. I'm gonna put a desk in the corner there, like a small desk. This is not a dining area. This is really like a work um, room. The whole room is paneled. This is from my last photo shoot that we had in Connecticut. And then over there is my living room. But basically, what we're thinking about doing, my friend Jill is like a project house designer, manager. She wears a lot of hats. But she's a friend of mine and she's helping me with my house. We're thinking about making this the living room. So switching these two rooms. So making this the living room and then making that a big design room, an office room, kind of like a conference -y room. And then doing a big French door here to close off the doors. But I just think this room would look so pretty red, like a very dark red. But I also do like it as an office area, conference -y area right now because the light is very good in this room. I have so much furniture, like this table for example. I love this table, but it just doesn't go with this house that I moved into. So I have so much furniture, like those blue chairs and uh, this table that I wanna sell and get rid of. 
I just need to find a replacement. Like, I really do love these chairs. I just don't want blue chairs anymore. So yeah, let me know in the comments if anyone from Connecticut wants to buy these from me. One thing I'm very proud of is my collection of Persian rugs. I have so many good rugs. I get asked a lot where all of these rugs are from and a lot of them are vintage, but then some of them are Pottery Barn or West Elm. For example, the one in here is from Pottery Barn. So, and this looks very vintage. This is honestly my favorite rug in the house right now. It's so yummy. While I'm showing you guys a bit of the downstairs, I have to say this bathroom is so cute. I really, really love the paneling. And then we have this pretty sink. I'm honestly considering putting more paneling in the house because every single room that has paneling, I'm just obsessed with it. I'm actually getting up pretty early tomorrow to go horseback ride with my sister. So I'll bring you guys along with me to that. So yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. We grew up riding, but my sister actually rode more serious than me when she was younger, so she's an amazing rider. So it's always fun to spend time with her riding. After this, I'm gonna go home and pack. The best time of the year when Trader Joe's has this pumpkin bread and muffin mix. look in here and I put a little sticky note on it so when I'm unpacking um, it makes things much easier she already labeled them for me so I'm gonna keep these in their bags but for the extra looks I'm bringing I'm gonna do that okay so this is a look with little shorts this cheetah belt and a turtleneck and then I just zip it up and then I label it so the whole look is in here and again, sometimes I'll put like a purse or the jewelry that goes with the look so it's literally all together. It's more like an everyday sort of like casual look. But this just makes it so when I'm going on these like week trips where it's very like work oriented or I'm going to a lot of events, I just know I have a look for every occasion. Say hi to the vlog. Hey vlog. <laughs> hey guys. What you doing? <laughs> okay, so I'm just Ooh, this lip color is so nice. Do you mean to put- You are just explaining to me what you're wearing. Whoa, what were those? I'm just putting on lipstick. But I no, really- No, what were those? Oh. What were those? Guys, I really, really like this color. It's called Universal Earth. I feel like the uh, Makeup Forever lip liners have been everyone's go-to recently, and this one is so good. It's like a- it's like a nudish red, but not too red. Do you like it, babe? I absolutely love it. I'm so glad. It's the best. 
That's the best one ever. Okay, so I'm gonna do a black liner with just like a brown lid. What's a brown lid? Like eyeshadow is brown, all brown. <laughs> so eyeshadow is lid, that's some good slang, I'm learning. Look at the difference in my eye shape with this. Can you tell the difference? Yeah, but now you're just twitching your eyes. No, I'm not, that's real. That one looks smaller. Yeah, that's the whole point. Do you want your eyes to look smaller? Yeah, it's like making them like cat eye. I thought big eyes were supposed to be like a good thing. I think it depends on the look. I need you to trim my eyebrows. Okay, babe. You know how to do that? Yeah. Should I see a specialist? What is that? Hello, eyeliner. You hate when I do winged eyeliner. No, like for myself. Okay, now let's see. Hey, vlog. Hi, vlog. Hey, vlog. Now I'm gonna use mascara, the L'Oreal Telescopic. Vlog, I just want you to know, this girl is so busy. This is true. I've had a really busy past few days. I feel like I barely even vlogged this week. Oh, I only did it. This is a Sunday, Monday vlog, but I barely vlogged today besides the barn and baking because I was so busy today. I'm gonna go in with this little Chanel um, eyeshadow and do a little bit of this shimmer in my inner corner. I'm gonna go blow dry my hair and then I'm gonna finish my makeup. All right guys, so I just finished my hair. This is uh, how it turned out. I think I slayed the house <laughs> Let me know if you guys want me to do a Dyson tutorial. I just did it for Tommy. What oh, do you... I'm just so good at the Dyson. You want a tutorial from me. How do you think my tutorial was for you? I think you, you did a great job. I think I'm gonna use it next time. Great. Okay guys, I need to run out like very soon. But I'm Drop just gonna- Drop a comment if you wanna know the hair routine. Good morning, guys. Okay, so I'm about to run into the city. Like, I don't really often get excited to vlog in New York. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because I used to live in New York and I made YouTube videos when I lived in New York. And they never really fully inspired me, I guess. But this week I have a very busy week in New York, so I'm really excited about that. So it is Tuesday today and I'm heading into the city now. I'm heading into the city in like 10 minutes to fit for a Burberry event that I am going to tomorrow. Tonight is the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show, which I'm so excited for. I have some really fun looks planned for that. I'm wearing all vintage tonight and the after party, so really excited to just bring you guys along on that. I'll show you guys what I'm wearing today. Fall fashion is my favorite. Hi, mom. Can you come say hi? Uh -huh. Cutie. Hi. Love you. Love you. Okay, I just checked it at the Baccarat. I'm gonna give you guys a little tour before it gets all messed up. They always have very pretty bathrooms in this hotel. And this is the bedroom. They always have such amazing details in this hotel. It's definitely one of my favorites. I just came in here to turn on the shower. And there's a whole So I need to shower and get ready because glam is coming soon, but I will show you guys and I'm very excited to show you guys the look that I'm wearing. Okay, here is my first look. You can't really tell what it is, but it is gorgeous. It's vintage. I'm obsessed with it. And then this is my night after party look. I don't need to see this. Okay 
We're about to head to the VF show. I'm so excited. I'm not gonna bring, I feel like I have to cover my boobs with the cover again. But um, we're heading to the show now. I'm going to do iPhone video. to change my eye look and go to the after party. The show was so cool. I'm wearing this vintage Dolce Gabbana light blue really gorgeous dress. So I just need to redo my concealer because I took it all off and I took off all my eyeshadow so I need to also do my lip but I need to figure out what I'm going to do with my eye but um Oh wait, I have jewelry. I got loaned the most gorgeous diamond. Diamonds. Okay guys, this is the after party look. Vintage Dolce. This purse that fits nothing, but I love it. It's really fun. When else am I gonna wear this? Anyways, gonna probably go for like literally five minutes and then I'm going to bed. I'm no fun anymore. I honestly just want McDonald's. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys right now. I have not left my bed, pretty much. Yeah, I've really just rotted in bed today and I didn't even drink last night, like, honestly. I only had one drink last night. So I don't know why I feel so tired and kind of hungover. But the show must go on. We're going to Burberry tonight. I'm really excited about it. They just dropped off a big bag. Yay. Yay. Just got a bunch of different <laughs> drinks. I ordered a chai latte and a latte and some baked goods. My skin feels so dry right now. I really need to shower. Oh. My glam for the Burberry event is gonna be here in like 10 minutes and I need to shower. But I just wanna check in and say hi before I got ready. Um, tomorrow, um, I have a Louis Vuitton event now and a Armani black tie event at night, but I'm gonna try to actually get out and about tomorrow. Anyways, I'm gonna chug these coffees, get in the shower, and I'll see you guys when I glam. Coffee in the shower.
I'm back. All I want to do is put on a face mask right now. Tonight was really, really fun. A lot of you guys probably know this, but when I was living in New York, Ella and I were like attached at the hip. Okay, face mask on. I also just ordered Taco Bell, so really looking forward to that. Anyways, what I was saying was Ella and I were like attached at the hip when I lived in New York and we're both so busy and I'm never in New York. But I just had the best night catching up with her. She's just, I can't even take myself seriously right now in this mask, but she's just such a good person, first of all. Like she's just truly an amazing person, but just has this very like calming, sweet aura. I feel like a lot of you guys can probably even get that vibe from her content, but like she's just very sweet and just like a happy, positive person. And I just missed her so much. So, oh, I'm gonna go get my face thing. Anyways, um, she's just an incredible friend and I don't get to see her much. I definitely wanna try to see her more because, because the older I get, the more I am valuing those people. And, and yeah, I just really value her as a person and a friend and Hopefully we're gonna go get lunch tomorrow. I have Louis Vuitton at 10 a.m. Tomorrow it's like a jewelry presentation, little intimate event. Um, it's not even an event, it's more like an intimate presentation for some jewelry at Louis Vuitton and they sent me over a really, really gorgeous look for tomorrow. So I'm gonna go to that and then I have a big break in the middle of the day and then I have a um, Armani event. It's like a black tie event and they're sending over a look for that. I just love that I'm being productive and busy while I'm here. And yeah, I've had a really, really good trip to New York so far, so I'm, I'm so happy about that. Oh, also I went to um, Remy's event tonight. One of my dear friends from New York, another like really old friend of mine, Remy, had an event tonight for her Sam's Club collection. So I went to support her at that, and that was fun. I saw a lot of people that I don't always get to see, so that was really fun too. Anyways, I'm gonna eat my Taco Bell, and then I'm gonna go to bed, because I have an early morning. But I'll see you guys in the morning. morning vlog. I'm just doing my makeup pretty quickly right now. I have to run out the door in a second. My sleep schedule has been so bad since Asia. I feel like two vlogs ago in LA I said I was super jet lagged and honestly I still feel super jet lagged but I feel like that's not even what I can call it anymore. It's just um I'm having a really hard time falling asleep. And it's not even like I'm on my phone or anything. I just am very restless. I've been using this new foundation and it's insane. I've never used a foundation by Huda Beauty before and it's really, really nice. It's very natural and airbrushed looking. I think it's called airbrush something. Easy Blur Natural Airbrush Foundation. This is what I've been using as like my everyday foundation. I got my eyebrows threaded the other day at one of those inexpensive threading places. And I feel like they thinned out my eyebrows a little bit, but I actually kind of like it. I feel like it kind of gives me like a facelift a little bit. I'm just doing very simple makeup today. I've been using this lip liner every day. Universal Earth. I feel like it's very 90s. I wonder if they have it in a lipstick because I kind of use it as a lipstick. Really cool jacket. These NYX fat oils. My friend and makeup artist Andy showed these to me this week. So good. Here's the purse. I'm gonna head out now. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. First of all, haven't ate anything today. Haven't ate a single thing. Had a cappuccino. I get sort of nervous on launch dates, like excitement, nervous. And 
So I was like really excited, anxious and nervous and went to this event and I was at the event during the Dairy Boy drop. For those of you who didn't know this, I had a drop this morning for Dairy Boy. And it was at 11 and I was at the event and I looked at my phone at 11.03 and I realized that I hadn't got my post up yet for the drop. So I quickly like stepped out of the event, posted at 11.03. So I was like a little bit late on my post. And then, and then I put my phone away for three minutes I checked my phone and everything fucking sold out and I was like holy f and then I looked at the post and oh my god there were so many people that didn't get to get the camo and that were upset because it sold out and I totally get it I had no fucking clue that it was gonna sell out that fast I am shocked I'm blown away I feel like also there are people that think I order like 50 sweatshirts and I made an Instagram story talking about this, but we ordered over 14,000 units and I don't have a big enough warehouse to order more than that. We have no investors, none. It's always been me investing in the company, my own money, or now we're just using a lot of the money that these drops make to go back into the brand and um, grow the team and hire more people. We are a team of less than 10 people. I feel like sometimes people forget that I'm not a large corporation. I feel like in general, because I'm an influencer and because I work with so many large corporations, people think that I have the capabilities and bandwidth of a large corporation. Hopefully one day I can be that big and you know have a team of 50 people, but that's just not what we have right now. I still haven't ate and I feel like I need to eat something. I feel like a crazy person. Anyways, I'm just blown away. I literally don't even know what to say or to think right now. I'm just so grateful. And I just want to say for those of you who weren't able to get a sweatshirt, we are going to continue to order more and we're going to have a restock and we have another really exciting camo drop coming, another color. Thank you guys so much. Seriously, I cannot believe what just happened. Anyways, I'm going to probably throw on a sweater and I think I'm going to go get lunch with Ella. It was just so nice catching up with her yesterday. So I think we're gonna go to lunch and then I might go to a few stores in Soho and then I have to come back here and I'm going to another event. <laughs> 